Come back at you again for another video. And today we are doing part one of Peeper 101 Puppet Master. And in this video, I will be personally be telling you about the Puppet Master franchise. And in this episode, this in this particular episode, in this particular series, I'm going to tell uh like I'm gonna to try to simplify. The Puppet Master timeline, if you will. Because of, you know, franchises and shit. So I'm going to try to do that for y'all guys. Okay. In the beginning of time, you know, guys and shit, there was a demon god named Sutek. And Sutek found the secret of life, moving inanimate objects to life. Sutek swore to protect the secret. And so he invented married creatures and slaves and servants to protect this secret. That was until a sorcerer of great power decided to steal the, the secret from ancient Egypt. From Egypt. That's where Sutek's temple was. And what happened was is that he sold the secret in, I believe, 1850. I don't know. The, 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 like I said, timelines are weird. So it's kind of confusing for me. Anyway, he went all the way to Europe, Germany, in the 18th century. And he got ambushed by two techs, ser servants, slaves. Three of them. Dying in the cold. A girl, a loving girl named Elsa, and a man named Andre Toulon, who ran a puppet show, a puppet theater with his friends. You see, Andre Toulon loves puppets. He loved puppets very much. That was his life. And what had happened was that the sorcerer saw potential in the young man. So he decided to give him the secret of life. And so he brought his puppets to life. A lot of them just looked really weird. When Andre Toulon had the secret of everything, the Suchet people came after him and said the sorcerer, that the sorcerer had died. So he killed all his friends, and he put their souls and set the incantation along with this ring, with the needle, right? Because that's all you need to bring people to life. That was one way. However, there are many ways, apparently. We'll get on to that soon. 
what had happened was that he put, he did the whole things, and he put his friend's souls inside the puppets. And to check, because to check, people took Elsa. Elsa and Andre Toulon had a sort of spark flying. You know, you know, like, yo, what's up? Anyway, they had ambushed her on a train. So they had this giant battle between the living puppets and the Sutek people. And uh, of course, Puppet Matt, of course, Andre Toulon and his puppets win. Andre Toulon is puppet twin, of course. Which leads us to the next thing, as Andre Toulon is going through a road show, a traveler that goes along with him decides to trade him that secret for something even more important. It is called Green. Is it is something? What's that? It really doesn't have a name. It's like a green ooze, kind of like serum thingy, kind of like. I like the ooze Ninja Turtles, but it's a lot more thicker consistency. Well, actually, less thick in consistency because they got to put it in a needle. Anyway, move on that soon. So they traded him the incantation and the ring for the green slime. Then that is where that we move to the next part of the timeline. Aki Trilog is running a puppet show in Germany during World War II, and he's an older man now. And because they didn't give him the secret the first time, they decide to shoot down his wife, Elsa. How fucked up is that, man? I mean, I know y'all guys are Nazis, but have some respect. Be gunning down a man's wife. Gun his ass down. So he decides to get revenge. And he makes new puppets. Like, like, uh, I'll get into different puppets in the next episode. Right now we're just focusing on the timeline itself. So he gets his revenge, sort of, and he keeps on running to, Ger to the, around Germany and Europe until the late 1950s where he's just, he's too weak to go on anymore. He's, you know, he keeps on trying to bring his puppets to life and shit. But he's just too old to do it now. So he uh he he off himself with the gun. And he hides his puppets. Until a couple of decades later, some asshole decides to inflate the puppets and kill everyone and this and that. And the puppets get revenge on him. Okay? Then, a couple years later after that, the puppets try to resurrect Andre too long with the rest of the green serum. The puppets are collecting brains and shit for green, brains and green slime because the puppets' plan as to be resurrected is to resurrect Elsa. And there's a girl named Elsa and she looks just like his wife, right? And so he decides to fucking put himself in the puppets because he knows that's the only thing he knows has eternal life is these puppets. And puppets are like they see that shit and they're like, uh uh, fuck that buddy. And they just and they just kill his ass. And then so this is when the timeline gets fucked up, and this is the parts that start pissing me off. Oh wait a minute, no, it's not. Cause I forgot about the other ones. I actually thought, you know, it was a pretty clean timeline until 9, 10, and 11 Puppet Masters. Because get this, right? Little kid picks up the puppets, and there's wars, still more wars between them and puppets. The Nazis make the puppets, and it's it's complicated. And, and I can just figure that straight out, okay? And I'm pretty sure y'all guys think that's complicated right now. But try to watch those movies, and try it all together to mix those pieces up, and... I have been trying to do that shit since 2012. 2012, people. It's 2017. Before the mask, it was confused about the Puppet Master in the films.
But somewhere along the road, everything got tied up. I don't fucking know. So, your straight timeline, if you want to be technical, or just do the one step where it isn't confusing as much. Retro Puppet Master, Puppet Master 3, Puppet Master 1, Puppet Master 2. Boom, you done. Four movies. Everything else, scratch it off. Puppet Master 4, at some point, Sutek uh, finally locates the secret of life thingy. He's like a skull guy, and it's like, it's all weird and shit. And so, the puppets are coming out, and there's these totem thingies. They're like puppets that Sutek made. And they're ambushing the puppets, right? And so, we got a war between the puppets and the Sutek. He calls them totems. And that's what they're called on the action figure line. Totems. So they're fighting that for part 4 and part 5. In part 6... So at some point, the little kid decided to auction them off, and this one guy wanted to find the secret. And on top of that, what else was it? Oh, yeah. He decides to make it a sideshow attraction. Dr. McGregor's House of Marvels. And some kid with tools, and he's like really good stuff, right? And he has to fall in love with Dr. McGregor's daughter. Her name is Jane. Okay. So, as that happens, he eventually becomes a puppy and kills off that. And I'm pretty sure Charles Man was like, you know what, we got this really great timeline. Let's just make a bunch of movies and see whatever the fuck happens. We've also had a, a movie, a spin-off movie, called Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys. Now, maybe I'll talk about Demonic Toys, maybe I won't. But that is the Puppet Master timeline. You know, it was building up nice, nice foundation, you know, nice, nice characters and story arcs, and then... <sighs> fuck out of here, man. Doc Trevor King, yeah, sure. Here's to Dead Franchise. Especially with that fucking Little Strike movie coming out. That's the 12th Puppet Master movie. Uh, next episode, we will talk about the puppets themselves. I'll draw pictures and what my personal opinion on each of the puppets are. Until then, yeah. Until then, because on tight, people are out.